Hi kids, welcome back. Today is week nine, day four. And our highlight verse is Leviticus 9, 22 through 23. Okay, we'll read it in the King James Version first. Leviticus 9, 22 through 23. And Aaron lifted up his hand toward the people and blessed them and came down from offering of the sin offering and the burnt offering and peace offerings. And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation and came out and blessed the people and the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the people. Now the New International Reader's Version. Leviticus 9, 22 through 23. Then Aaron lifted up his hands toward the people. He gave them a blessing. He'd already sacrificed the sin offering, the burnt offering, and the friendship offering. So he stepped down from the altar. Moses and Aaron went into the tent of meeting. When they came out, they gave the people a blessing. The glory of the Lord appeared to all the people. Great. Now, what does that mean? Let's look at the explain section. It says here, the priests offered sacrifices to God to atone or cover the people's sins. God spoke to the people through the priests. Back then, God did not speak to everybody. He spoke to the priests and told them what he wanted the, the people to know, the Israelites. Priests talked to God for the people. So there was a two-way communication going on. God would talk to the priests and then the priests would talk to the people. The priests offered sacrifices to God to pay for the Israelite sins. And God communicated with his people through the priests, and the priests talked to God for the people. Okay, so how do we apply that to our life? It says here that the Israelites needed a priest to talk to God for them. And Jesus came to be our high priest because Jesus was not there with Moses, right? Jesus came later to be our high priest and to make one enormous sacrifice for us, for everyone. Because of our high priest sacrifice, we can now talk to God ourselves. Look at each row of the old telephones and circle the shadow that matches the original. So if you have your book, you can take the picture and you can look for the shadow that matches the old phone. And you can look to see which one matches the shadow of the first picture that's in color. I'll have a picture above for you as well. All right, and I would love for you to pretend to talk to God on the telephone. What would you say to God right now if you could pick up the telephone and talk to him? What would you say to him? All right. Let's try that and respond in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus to be my high priest so I can talk to you. We love you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Now it's time for our memory verse. Matthew 22, 37 through 38, King James Version. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Matthew 22, 37 through 38. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Matthew 22, 37 through 38. New International Reader's Version. Jesus replied, 
Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. Matthew 22, 37 through 38. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. Now remember everybody, Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. Great job. We'll see you tomorrow.